Now today we're looking at the filters from Pennzoil. These are actually manufactured by Royal Dutch Shell, the oil conglomerate many of us are familiar with. There's generally a $5 difference between the two of them. Let's cut them open and find out why. Now both filters are made in the USA. Secondly, the lower costing filter here on my left generally runs for around $7 on its own. The Platinum typically $11 to $12. Both do employ a 200 PSI burst pressure. The thickness of the walls are 25 thousandths of an inch, and that's pretty accurate. I don't have the highest quality digital caliper, but I'm measuring 25 thousandths of an inch. Same among both of them, and it's nice to find a strong canister. Certain filters, after opening them, they can be quite flimsy and weak. This is quite strong. Nice thing to see. Secondly, this is just a stamped piece of steel. This is typically what you find. Some filters may employ a coil spring, but they both had the same function. And that's keeping all of these components nice and tight inside the filter. So, so far, they are identical. But this is where you start to see the difference. And there's really three, as far as I can tell, differences why you're paying more for the Platinum. Now, one is regarding this guy the media. Now both do employ metal end caps and a metal center tube, which many of you do like to see. Very nicely made in terms, of, uh, in terms of the construction. The spacing is very good, very little overspray in the gluing. Some filters costing $15 plus have really nasty overspray, so it's a nice thing to see. On top we have a bypass valve. The whole point behind this is if the media ever clogs up, Instead of inhibiting motor oil from getting back into the engine, this little guy, there's a valve in here that opens up. And then unfiltered, unfiltered oil at least gets back in the engine. So it's a safety device. So it's nice to find. Most filters do have them. It really depends on the manufacturer of the vehicle uh, because some don't require it. But this does have a bypass valve here on top. And the efficiency rating is 96%. Now regarding efficiency ratings and Micron ratings, it's really set by a company, or really I should say a body known as the ISO. You can look them up, it's based in, uh, they're based in Geneva. And they come up with these guidelines. So when you hear 96% efficiency, that's how efficient it is at grabbing particles above 20 microns. Now, just to give you an idea how what that means, the thickness of a dollar bill is, I believe, if I remember correctly, 100 microns. So very, very small particles. This can capture 96%. This, on the Platinum, 99%. Now the difference is really the media, of course. This is a blended media of synthetic and cellulose. So this would run typically just cellulose, maybe fiberglass. This is synthetic and cellulose, 99% efficiency. In fact, can hold up to 10 grams of dirt. So really, same end cap, same metal center tube, same bypass valve. It's just the media. You have a higher quality in terms of the media, and that's number one why you're paying a little bit more on the Platinum. Number two is this guy. This is an anti-drain back valve. The whole point behind this is to prevent dry starts. So when you shut off the engine, instead of having all of the engine oil drain out of the filter, the next time you start your vehicle, you'll have oil readily available, and the difference is the material. So on your lower costing filters, typically you find nitrile rubber. Higher costing filters, this is silicone. This can last two times longer versus your nitrile rubber. And the third reason comes down to this. On the back, Whoops, on the back, sorry about that, it's a little cold here. On the back we have the gasket. This is of course where the filter mates to the engine. And we have a nitrile rubber gasket. And regarding the platinum, it, it is still nitrile rubber, but they inject something called PTFE into it. Ultimately, it can last longer. So the whole point here is why would you run a certain filter? Well, I can give you a personal experience. I mean, really, you can run conventional or synthetic among the both of them, but it comes down to what you're looking to get. So many years ago, I had an older Camaro, had a small block engine, and every three months, I would change the motor oil and filter. I ran just conventional motor oil, and I used a lower costing filter. 
Never ever once had a problem. I sold that vehicle with well over 220,000 miles. And the main thing is I changed the oil on a regular basis. Now, fast forward to today, I drive a Honda as my daily driver. And on the Honda, it's required every one year or 10,000 miles to change the oil. And I generally hit that 10,000 miles first. So I tend to run a higher quality oil filter as this one because it just really is designed to last longer with synthetic motor oil. Now, interestingly, I run Pennzoil uh, synthetic on all my vehicles. I've always had good success with their motor oil and a high quality oil filter. My only complaint is it's not easy, at least for me here in the Northeast, to find these filters in stock at the local store. I have to buy them online. So I don't know if every store is different. I'm talking about Advanced Auto, AutoZone. I don't have a Pet Boys nearby. I don't have an O'Reilly's nearby, so I don't know if they stock these. Walmart's way out of the way, and I, to be honest, I never go into Walmart. It's a madhouse. So this is typically what's at my local parts store and what's on sale in terms of bundling. And unfortunately, they just don't carry Pennzoil uh, filters. They do, of course, have the oil, the motor oil. But that's what you essentially have here. So you're paying more for the higher quality in terms of the media, the anti-drain back valve, and of course, the gasket on the bottom. And I hope this gives you a pretty decent idea. Uh, if you are looking to run this filter or you are running this filter. If you'd like to see anything else, please leave those comments. If you have run these in the past, uh, please let us know how you like them. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.